Hello, hello. Next product I want to talk about is BPH baths. Let's talk vagina. The vagina is a portal of life, but it could also be a portal of death because some people don't understand the vagina. Some people don't understand the, the balance that the vagina needs to be in in order to get rid of bacteria, fungus, yeast, and stay in a healthy balance. The vagina is supposed to be slightly acidic and so sometimes easily and unknowingly unbeknownst to us it can get out of balance from when we get in those chlorinated swimming pools when we take a bath and use those toxic soaps that have high ph balances you know the ones that like to lather up and sud up that is because they have lye inside of those soaps Lye is the same ingredient that they use for oven cleaner. It has a high pH, but the vagina is slightly acidic. So when you put that soap in between your legs, it stimulates in your vagina, bam, you out of balance. You could be out of balance from wiping yourself with toilet tissue. Some toilet tissues actually give you a nice little yeast infection, okay? You can get out of balance from... The diet, of course, eating a lot of breads, a lot of pastas, you know, because that turns into mucus, right? Even birth control pills, you know, birth control pills are really designed to put an extra layer of mucus on the wall of the <laughs> vagina. So you got this big caked up JJ full of mucus in order to stop from becoming impregnated because that's how it's going to stop, you know, the sperm. Anyway, and last but not least, you can also get the vagina in out of balance when you're having sex multiple times a day or a lot during the week, whatever, because the vagina is supposed to be ascetic. Your partner, the semen, in more of the alkaline range, right? So it's being inserted in you, if you're not using a condom, right? Inserted in you, now you're out of balance. And guess what? Even if you're using a condom, guess what? Those are toxic. So, <laughs> poor vagina, Lord, that person. Those are toxic. So, you're out of balance. You got a little toxic um, latex or whatever they have on the latex being inserted in you. So now, you're out of balance. Poor vagina. Poor vagina go through some things, Lord. That's why I created BPH Balance. It could be used for all of those moments, you know, after you're swimming, after you have sex, after your cycle, you know, after you, you know, take a bath with the, your soap. If you like holding on to your soap with your lye, well, maybe instead of getting the soap without the lye that I created, maybe you could maybe come back down. <laughs> But I would honestly suggest that you get a soap that doesn't have lye in combination with a B, uh, pH balance that does not have lye and that will get your pH in balance and stop using those toxic things. Like, right? But hey, everybody different. Everybody do what they want to do in physical reality. But as far as the pH balance is concerned, I feel that, well, I know actually, because I am a woman, that it is associated or has the symptoms that maybe some women don't understand or don't recognize you know like when you have those wrinkles in your forehead and you just wishing somebody would that could be your ph out of balance when you have a a cramp in your side you know or your lower your pelvic region that could be an indicator that your ph is out of balance when your back hurt, when your legs hurt, when you just feel tired and drained, when you are an emotional wreck, pH could be out of balance. And so your body will give you these symptoms. You remember in the movie, The Exorcist, the little girl, the little girl in the Exorcist in the room when, on pre-scene, when the priest was coming to bless her, get the demon out of her, it was cold in the room, she was swearing at the priest. She spit on the priests and all kind of things she did. She lifted the bed up and everything up and down. <laughs> if you really think about it, her pH could have been out of balance. <laughs> you know, when you're irritable and don't want to have sex with your husband or your partner, whatever, 
and you just turn into this monster if they touch you during that, that certain time and you're thinking to yourself, don't touch me, my pH is out of balance. You know, baby, you the little exorcist lady. <laughs> Maybe you need some pH balance right here. So this hair product I created and it has inside of it, it has inside of it water because it's a spray and it has oils which pull the toxicity. We're doing oil pulling with this particular spray. It pulls yeast, it pulls uh, toxins, it pulls bacteria, it pulls fungus out of your vagina and it really feel good. It, it feel good. I ain't gonna lie, it feel good. <laughs> it do. But while it's pulling it's it out is balancing it and allowing your vagina to stay in its proper range, its proper pH balance. And so when I say pulling, if you don't know about oil pulling, oil pulling is something that people do with their mouth like before they're gonna or after they brush their teeth. They'll put coconut oil in their mouth and they'll leave it in their mouth for about five minutes and they'll just squish, squish, squish around in their mouth and allow all of the toxins and the bacteria, bad breath or whatever to accumulate in this ball of saliva that they have in their mouth. They spit it out in the trash can and that is called oil pulling. It's the same concept here with this here vagina spray. It's going to pull those things out and so you're going to feel that pulling and that pulling feels really relaxing to you. It feels almost orgasmic, but it is a healthy way of extracting things out of your vagina. This is for external use. I just personally don't believe in sticking anything up in the vagina besides the penis, you know? So even though it's herbs or whatever, I set this up to be external use, but it will not harm you internally at all because the spray is actually being sprayed there. I just set it up in the directions as for external use then it freshens your vagina at the same time so right here this is this is it ladies if you wonder well, what i'm gonna buy from her what i need i would suggest that you buy this hair product for your your, your, your portal of life baby i'm for healthy vaginas i'm for life and this is the portal and, and, and with that in mind everybody can't go in the portal you can't put everything in the portal. And so after you use this and you get in balance, just keep that in mind. It's a portal of life, not a portal of death, not a portal of dumping into and just, you know, using and abuse. You know, it's like it's like the garden, you know, you don't you don't want to let Lucifer just wild out in the in the Garden of Eden and all the flowers be all tore down and discombobulated and you know and everything will be a wreck. You should you should you should we should Remember that 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 church so uh, none should walk up there but the pure in heart. It's a highway to heaven. That's what it's called. It's a highway to heaven. Just after we balance it out, make it a highway to heaven. Like nobody can everybody can't just go to heaven. Some people need to just go to hell. <laughs> so hey, BPH balance, babe. It will change your life. It will make you feel good and how you feel, even down to your vagina. It really, really matters. This product, this video is from my heart to yours, baby. Be blessed. It's a highway to heaven. None can walk up there. Oh, but the pure in heart. It's a highway to heaven. And I'm walking up to Jesus' highway. Oh, I'm going to heaven. Yes, Lord.